If you want to make your videos look like movies, it's all about the lens. Trust me. Come here, come here, check this out. They're from Iron Glass. They're fantastic. This set of lenses is cheap. And when I mean cheap, I mean relatively cheap. Like a $2,000 car is considered cheap. These lenses are relatively cheap. These are creative lenses. They're artsy lenses. Are they right for you? Are they right for low budget filmmakers? Before we get some test shots, I wanna show you a few things about these lenses. This is the 85 millimeter lens. It has a little lens cap it comes with. This is an EF mount. You can get PL and other mounts. Iron Glass has installed these plastic gears so you can use a follow focus. And they're very old. It says right here, made in the USSR. That's a seriously cool lens. Iron Glass has done something else to make these lenses look unique. They've added an oval piece inside the lens to make your bokeh look oval. And the reason why they did this is because anamorphic lenses have that effect. These are what some people call an anamorphic lens. They're not really anamorphic lenses that they would use in real movies, but it looks unique. Look at that, can you see that? Even without this anamorphic piece, these lenses already look super creative. But when this is added, it really takes these to the next level. Iron Glass is essentially taking a strange collection of photo lenses from Russia and making them useful for us filmmakers. Let's go try these lenses out. Right now I'm filming on the 58 millimeter lens. This has got to be one of my favorite lenses of the set. I'm loving the separation I'm getting from the background. These lenses have such a unique characteristic. First, we decided to film with every lens in the set using the same camera position. Here, you can see every focal length and the effect they have on the image. Next, starting with 20 millimeters, we moved the camera yet kept the same general framing. You can see as we move down the focal length, the bokeh becomes more prominent. It's important to keep in mind that not all of these lenses have the same aperture. Some of them are fast, some of them not so fast. If you want that swirly bokeh, that 58 millimeter lens or the 85 millimeter lens are going to be your best bet. image from these lenses really is great, but it's important to keep in mind that all of these lenses are manual, meaning that there is no autofocus with these lenses, there's no image stabilization with these lenses, they aren't the easiest lenses to use. If your priority is usability and speed, these might not be the lenses for you. Also, because these are prime lenses, you can't just zoom in and get the shot really quick. You really have to think about what you're doing. Now, we've had these lenses for months and months, and we've only used them on a few shoots. The reason why is because most of our shoots are corporate videos. And for those videos, we usually like to have very clean images, a clinical look. The perfect sharp lens is usually the lens we wanna use. Many times we're using the Sigma lenses because those are so sharp and perfect looking. 
Now, if you're working on a creative project like a music video or a short film, these lenses are for you. You might be thinking, hey, you said these lenses are cheap. Are they made cheaply? No, <laughs> they're not. These are old lenses. They're made with metal. They're made to last. These are great lenses. Iron glass just changes out the back so it can fit on your camera and uh, they add the focus gears, the lenses. I think if you're budget conscious and you don't have a ton of money, these are a great prime set option. Now, keep in mind that they do have that special look to them. So if you want something sharper, something clearer, something less creative, they might not be the lenses for you. It's important to remember that each of these lenses has their own personality. It's important to get to know each lens. The colors coming into your camera are going to be slightly different with each lens. Some of the lenses are a little bit cooler, a little bit warmer, a little bit more green, a little bit more magenta, and each lens has their own bokeh characteristics. The 85 and the 58 millimeter lenses are an F2, and those are the fastest lenses in the set. Some of the other lenses are a F2.8 and even a F3.5. One of my favorite things that Iron Glass has done with these lenses is they've de-clicked the aperture. That means that while you're filming, you can change the aperture on the lens and you won't get that light shift all of a sudden. It's going to be smooth. This is great for video. So if you want to make a slight aperture adjustment while you're filming, it's not gonna be very noticeable if you do it smoothly. Having those focus gears really helps. On this shot, I used the follow focus to track Lynn as she walked towards the camera. The focus gears work smoothly. I was very happy with those. Okay, there's some things I don't like about these lenses. They're so short that on some of the lenses, the focus ring is very close to the camera and it's kind of hard to get my follow focus in that close. Uh, most lenses, the iris ring is close to the camera and the focus ring is farther away. On these lenses, that's switched. The iris is farther away and the focus is closer. I think it's interesting. We're in this time now where so many of the cameras available look great. The image you can get off of these cheap cameras is fantastic. So what's really separating some filmmakers from others is the lens they're choosing. These lenses are special and they give you a special look. Ironically, if enough people buy them, the look won't be so special anymore. 